Welcome to Fresh Fishing guys, I'm Wayne, I'm Foxy, and we are heading down south for UK Blanks 2. Does baby, does. Yes, it has been a long time coming. We did the first UK Blanks, what, two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. So um, it's been a long, long time coming, and if you don't know what UK Blanks is and you're new to the channel, UK Blanks is basically us two having a multi-trip uh, a multi-venue a mega mega copy what are we gonna call what we're we gonna call it I don't know tour yeah trip? It's a tour That's it's a it tour is. isn't it basically the idea came from Eurobanks and we were just like why don't we do our own little version we of ripped it ripped it off in the UK it off. so that is where UK Blanks originated from um, and that's why the name is UK Blanks because uh, well we used to blank quite a lot <laughs> well I did and uh it's improved still does no we kind of said it to, to 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 kind of cover our own backs last time didn't we yeah so oh, well if we go on this big massive long trip and we end up just blanking exactly so let's just call it uk blank and we didn't blank we did really well on that trip if yeah. you have seen it so if you haven't go back and have a watch that go but, back and check it out but so we've got four nights three venues some pretty decent venues very good venues ones that we've been dying to get to we have all of them so yeah when, when we get to the last venue we're gonna have a few guests there so old man river my dad's gonna be there jamie reynolds so jay and then Stu, uh who was on the drayton res video and he actually helps us with our thumbnails as well yeah big up Stu. so uh yeah but dead excited about this so um first up we have got wait before we go any further if you're not a subscriber oh yeah go and do that right now yeah click um, the subscribe button means an awful lot to the channel and to us it does um and also i think like 70 percent of people aren't subscribed so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed help us out yeah let we're, us, trying to, we're trying to hit 10k we want to we, we want to know we want to see all the views like that uh, watch the channel yeah um we want a number to represent that yeah so we want to hit 10k so help us get to that goal and if you don't know we started some um, cart raffle competitions uh, about a year and a half ago now. Uh, freshfishing.co.uk. Uh, jump on the website, check those out. We've got some awesome, awesome prizes. Yeah, you uh, can to win all won. sorts. Can Amazing win. odds, just like all Cash the other alternatives comps as well sites. on the bigger ones. So yeah, jump on it. Jump on, have a look. But where are we heading first, baby? So first venue is. Do you, everyone knows I love a drum roll if you cut if you tune into the live draws. Um Norton Disney, we're off to Norton Disney. Yes we are. Um it's one we've been dying to get to for ages. Um we're not even too sure which lake we're gonna jump on we yet. We don't, because Norton Disney, you turn up, you get your sticker on your bucket, and then you gotta find your peg. So there's I think there's six or seven lakes on site. There's a fair few um, meet. So there's a lot. But yeah, we're probably going to try and target one that is easier to get a bite on, purely because we've got 24 hours, never fished it before. So that's probably what we're going to try and do, but we'll just have to see what's available. Yeah, because the other venues have got some stonking carp in, some mm -hmm. absolute whoppers. So uh, let's try and hit a little bit of a We want to we get off to a good start, don't we? Um, listen, let's if just... We can. Let's, we'll see where the next four nights five days takes us yes we will so yeah keep watching follow the journey it's going to be epic worth saying they are going to be split out into parts um because it's uh it's kind of what we always do with this content but it'll all be in a nice playlist together if you want to wait till the end and watch it all together um but yeah enjoy the vlog and we will see you when we get to Norton disney see you in a bit So we've had a little chat to the lad in the tackle shop who Foxy actually plays footy, footy with. Yeah. Um, gets about Foxy. So we've, um, you are having a walkabout. Don't know what lake we're going to jump on yet, we're to be honest. We're looking at stocks at the minute. We're looking at stocks. I don't think we want to be down this end. This is all the deep end. Mm, 18 foot. 
So we have a little wander around stocks. He did mention kind of stocks, hodgets as well. Um, should be good for a bite. So we have a little goosey ganders. And decide on first lake at Norton Disney. What's everyone saying about me wearing a hat though? I never wear hats. I think it suits me. I like these hats. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> right, let's go and find this peg. In the biz dog shiz. Right, so we sorted a lake and we are on stocks and we are on 10 and 11. Probably not our chosen pegs in terms of where it is on the lake because it's in the deep part of the um, lake, but it's the best peg in terms of us being together and filming and all that kind of stuff. So this is what we've gone with. So it's about 18 foot in the middle, but apparently there's some marginal spots. There's a little shelf out in the middle. So I'm gonna do some leathering about, I'm gonna get set up get all this gear sorted and then we're gonna get going. Go on, dare you. Right, I think we've finally both got three rods in. And we're kind of getting some work in order to the, the pegs. Kind of, I say. So yeah, it's taken a good while that has. But hopefully we can uh, we can get into something on this 24 hour session. Hopefully this hard work pays off. Say that again? Hopefully this hard work pays off. It I'm is sure hard work, isn't it? Already. Let's watch him spod. Watch me spod. Lovely. Cheers, blood. Cheers. A little bit of drizzle, didn't we, there? Yeah. So we plotted up in the bivvies for 15 minutes, but had some lunch, had some noodles. We did, they were nice, weren't they? Decent. So now uh -huh. we just plotted up, having a cider. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Now this is the good bit. We were like complaining like mad when we were setting up and getting rods out and stuff, because it's just, it's ag, isn't it? It's a pain in the arse, isn't it? Getting set up. Getting set up, putting everything away. Yeah, it's just the two awful. worst things about fishing. But now we're set up, rods are out. Feels a lot better, doesn't it? We can chill, it's the calm, isn't it? Yeah. It's the calm, until one of these rods go off. Hopefully one of these rods go off, yeah. What do you reckon, you feeling confident? I'm not. <laughs> no, Weirdly, I? I'm not. Like, no, am I. No, am I. I. Like, obviously, when we when we turned up, we wanted to be... The, the shape of this lake, I'll put a picture up so you can see it. Um, it's almost like a golf club and we're in like the actual club part of it aren't we the club head sorry part of it so yeah. we kind of wanted to be along the shaft if we could have um, I know uh, we wanted to be there I think because it was it kind of suits our fishing a little bit more it's like margin fishing that type of thing and the pegs were a bit more sheltered from the wind whereas this we've had the wind kicking into us um, but you've kind of got a You've still kind of got margin swims over to your right yeah, hand yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely. kind of got more of the open bowl. Yeah. Which is quite tricky for me, to be honest with you. Like, obviously, well, I'm fishing at 17 wraps with two of my rods. So, pretty sure my spotting was, was on top of them. But at the same time... You never know. You never, yeah, you never know. So, when there's kind of less to, to aim at or, to, a, you know, a target to hit, 
it's a bit more tricky it is so you're kind of going for like a, a spot in the distance that you're kind of you know aiming towards but uh, yeah i think what we'll do rather than going over like our spots and stuff there are fish showing there are fish showing rather than actually going we've got this here here and here if we catch one on that particular spot we'll maybe we'll maybe go over it because like unless yeah. it produces unless it produces does, what does it matter it doesn't matter does it and you would have seen some of the like from where we were casting stuff on like the b-roll and stuff and you saw me kind of wading out a little bit and going there so you roughly seen where where rods are kind of placed so as they say mate fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed we'll see we'll see we've got there's loads planned this the, these next few um these next few days in terms of filming and stuff we'll have a bots for you later uh we'll have a bots every single video that we produce on uk blanks actually so every venue is every venue's have a got a bots so uh yeah we've got that we'll do a pimp my bivy at some point because i think we've got a few new things yeah little little haul got yeah. had so um so yeah we've got got that to look forward to so like you say fingers crossed we're just going to sit back relax now for at least the next hour and then we might be thinking about if nothing's happened on the rods a few repositioning yeah literally we saw a, a fish show what four rod lengths out five rod yeah, lengths out right in front of Wayne's so and it is worth saying as well because we're on a double peg we always like to kind of share the love when we're on these sessions so you know if a spot starts to kick off a bit like what we did at Selby anyway you know like that swim was that one spot was kicking off so we just started sharing sharing the, the bites um hopefully hopefully th there's enough to go around that we can do that yeah exactly hopefully we do one spot does start kicking off and we can start sharing them. But yeah, yeah. Let, let's see what uh the stocks at norton disney has to offer let's see do you want to see the hot dogs that i've got us for dinner Would you like to see my hot dog? Get your dog out, mate. Dino's dogs. Oh. Look at the size of them. <laughs> mate, they are chunky. Look at them. <laughs> I don't even think they're going to fit in the Ridge Monkey. We're going to have to cut them in half. We're going to have the dog. No, do you know quite an important question? Now I've seen the size of the dogs. Yeah. I can just hear fish jumping. I oh, know, in that corner. That um, I can't get to. What are the buns looking like? Oh, the buns. The buns. Oh. Standard, standard Aldi buns, but... See, but they're like... What a disappointment. Yeah, oh, that's what I mean. You, what could ha you, could half, you could half the dog. What the hell is that? I couldn't get buns to fit dogs that size. Well, I know that they are super big dogs, but there's They're bigger Brooklyn buns out big there. Big dog. It's an anti-climax, isn't it? All buns? right, you you get the food next time. All right, I'll get them in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we were both just sat here saying, like, you know, what what should we do? What's, what are we going to do? What's the time now? It's quarter past two. So Rods have been on the dance floor, what, hour and a half at least? Properly. Are we being a bit dramatic here? What do you mean? Like, in. What oh, they're boshing all they over are. the shop. Like, are we being a bit dramatic? Like, they've been out on the dance floor for about an hour and a half. Yeah, and, probably. And we're, we and should, we're a little we should bit, wait till about three at least. Getting a little bit like antsy, aren't we? Yeah. Like, oh, should we do something? Fish, Let's change something. Fish. Yeah, I was contemplating having the little lead around at about seven, eight wraps because. The guy in the tackle shop said that there was a, what do you call it? A hump, a lump, yeah. something like that. And apparently they they catch off that spot. But then I started hearing it rain a little bit. Then we thought, no. It was like, oh, no. Nah. Just stay in a little warm bivy. Have another drink. But it actually isn't raining. And on camera, it actually looks really nice out there. Uh, or I could just have another Harry bow and a sip of that. And the chin wag. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> uh, which sounds more appealing, but I do want to fish. Do you want to fish? I want to fish. I want to fish my tits off. 
Right, I'm going to give it another. Get, I say we give it to three. That's another forty-five minutes of just letting. Yeah, but them you sit. think if we if we give it till three and we switch it up, it's probably going to be it then until. No, it's not. No, it's not. Give it till three. All right. We'll see. Goodbye. Everybody, welcome to Beer of the Session. It's a bots, mate. It's a bots. First bots of UK blanks. And what Number is that? And yeah, if you yeah. haven't watched the channel before, or you're new to it, just to let you know what bots is, it is Beer of the Session. And it is. Basically, what we do is people get in the comments, they tell us what beers we should try. We go out, we get them, we give them a little try, and we rate them. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, no half marks, and uh, yeah, then the scores go on the website, which actually I need to update on the last few, but you can go on our website, www.freshfishing.co.uk, <laughs> and you can see all the beers that we've rated and hated, and uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of uh, something extra added it's to the channel. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice little feature, it's a fun feature. People can get involved and uh, yeah, it's decent. So today on the menu, we have got, so I think it was Luke Beadle, let me just check, let me just double check. So actually, we've got two for this suggestion, I've just realised. Oh, two people. So we've got Luke Beadle, who I think, pretty sure I've seen Luke go and he fishes Trent view quite a lot and i think that's how he discovered us because we went to trent view and fished it right. so there's luke beater who's who suggested this and there's also trev mason so thank you luke and trev however Big trev. slight twist on both of your suggestions you said beer moretti and when i was thinking about this i was like everyone's had a beer moretti like we know it's a decent standard beer, beer isn't it but it, like when i say standard like everyone knows about it you get it at weddings and all that it's a nice so, beer it is a very nice beer but i thought Beer Moretti have just brought out this new version of Beer Moretti, which is a sea salt version. So I thought, let's try that. Interesting. So yeah, let's have a go. Oh, and I've just seen a special box for tomorrow. Or the next day. That's it. Sal de mer. There you go. Sal mera. Caramera. What we're it talking? It's actually really cold, yeah. As uh, o Omar says, how many volts? How many volts? 4.8. 4.8%. It is, what does it say then? So it's unfiltered premium lager with a hint of Italian sea salt. So I've actually, I've been looking forward to trying these. What does it smell like? You do, you do get a bit of a salty vibe from it, don't you? Yeah, it's you not, can, it's not as like, the, the normal kind of tangy smell. Nah. Should we give it a pop? Let's go. Oh, wow. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> that saltiness really like... Mm. It's weird because it feels like it shouldn't taste nice, but it does. It's all right. And you can taste it's like sea salt, can't you? A little bit, yeah. It's just, it, there's something different about it. Yeah. But I don't, is it the sea salt? It must be. It's got to be. Must it, be. Of course it is. Oh, that is, um, that's, 
surprised me that has. I don't think I like it better than a normal beer of Moretti though. Hmm? No? No. I think I might, you know. Really? Mm. I mean, it's decent. Dive into full flavoured refreshment with Beer Moretti at Sal de Mare, born from the Italian coast, a medium bodied premium lager at 4.8%, unfiltered for a natural haze and enriched with a hint of Italian sea salt. Mate, you should do uh, Marks and Spencer's adverts. <laughs> should, shouldn't I? You should do Marks' adverts. I mean, it's a good temperature, so that's always going to help it. Yeah, that definitely helps it. Really good temperature. And. I'm just trying to work out numbers in my head here. Yeah. I think I think I've I think I know where I'm at. I started off with one and then I've dropped it and I'm just trying to decide if I'm going back up again because we don't do half marks. We don't. Don't say yours yet because I don't want it to influence my decision. Okay. All right, fine. I just had the swig, I know what I'm doing. Let me just have one more. All right, let me have one more. Yeah, I'm sticking. I know what I'm going. Where are you going? Eight. Eight. You going eight? I'm going eight. Yes. It's a nice beer, isn't it? It is. It's a nice beer. I think it is probably. I reckon. If I, I can't properly remember how exactly how normal ratty tastes, but I'm pretty sure I would probably rate normal ratty in eight as well. So I reckon they're probably on par with each other. Probably. Yeah. This has just got a little bit of a different hint to it, obviously, with the sea salt. Yeah. But it's nice. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, like Bira Moretti is one of my favourite beers. Is if it? I go into a pub, so is I'd it? probably give. Have you we probably... done Bira Moretti? What did I give it? No, we haven't done oh, it. We haven't done it because it's too mainstream, isn't it? It's too mainstream. <laughs> I'm too <laughs> hipster for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're more pirate radio station than we're, Capital, that's aren't it. we? <laughs> that's it. Smooth, actually. All right. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, no, good, good suggestion, man. Thanks a lot for that one. Appreciate it. Luke and Trev, thank you very much, boys. So if any of you guys have got any new suggestions, obviously you don't know what's on the list, uh, this long list that we're trying to get through, and um, we are getting through, slowly but surely, um, but yeah, like Foxy said, this was suggested by two people, so if that is the case, uh, then you obviously you'll get a shout out as well. Um, yeah, you can hit us up on our socials, as Foxy said, the website, www.freshfishing.co.uk. Um, or comment down below comment down below give us your suggestions and we'll endeavor to get it on the channel yeah we will much love that's a boss mate that is a bot salut you just nearly smashed my bottle <laughs> <laughs> now hopefully the fish start to play ball the carp hopefully start to play because we just spent an hour we did messing on with trying to change a few things up so See you in a bit. In probably, a bit. probably with some hot dogs or a car. Ugh. Don't know which it's going to be. Go on, son. Foxy's in. Go on, go on, mate. Call me after. Yeah, alright, we'll do. Bit. Layers. Layers. Mate, that's that, um, that's that bush spot, man. I told you that rod, that bush spot was going to be the first one to go, didn't I? Good. I told you. Come on. So that fish took the rig from just under that. Oh, I just felt a little ping. Dark bush. Did not like say that. dark bush, just a little bit darker. You, you literally just sat there talking to Jay going, I've got a lot of faith, faith in, in the D rig. In the D -rig. <laughs> and then it pops. Where's the net? Oh, there. Next to me. Just pull it down, mate. Help me net it. So I don't want to lose it. Hey! Get <laughs> in. Back in the net. Hold on. Sixteen pound four ounces. Well done, mate. A bit bigger than uh, than we first thought. Yeah, we thought it was like a twelve pounder, didn't we? Uh huh. Sixteen four. Oh. Little uh, 
little mark there. We might have to treat we'll that. Treat that, yeah. Oh, well There's done, one on mate. this side as well, actually. What are you going to say? I'm saying we were not confident at all, and now I'm a little bit more confident, especially in that spot. So hey, I uh, told you, I said to you that that spot would be the first one to go. Yeah, well, we had a liner, didn't we, on it before, and um, yeah, here's the result: sixteen pound four. Mirror cap. He's wanting to kick off. What what bait was that on? That was a DNA bug wafter, which was one of the yellow washed out new ones that they brought out. Oh yeah, 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 it was, yeah. So on the D rig, which I was just saying to Jay on the phone, I've got loads of confidence in, and it was nailed. Get in. So yeah, buzzing. Well done, mate. First fish of UK blanks two. Get in, baby. And for the next one, and even though we did say we were gonna share rods yes I Wayne has kindly said I don't want to take he doesn't want to take a PB away from me because my PB is very breakable yeah I don't want to take the next one just in case so just in case so but if I catch another one it's a small one he can have the next and I'm just that's cool but then it definitely will be your PB <laughs> that I'm taking. it always seems yeah. to be the case doesn't it right hopefully my rods go anyway let's treat this up and we'll get it back the lad has literally just put his rod down it took him about eight casts <laughs> it did take me ages it took him to about the eight spot. casts to hit the spot I said to him just keep doing it he's rested it for about 30 seconds he's just started to I was try about to put a spot about up. to spot over it and it went oh oh it's knocking it's going right into that corner don't let it I don't want to bite it too much though Mate, I'm such a good cameraman. Oh yeah? I'm so good. This shot is amazing. I wonder if this one's bigger and better. Could it be your PB? Could it be mate. your PB? Seems to be holding bottom a bit more, doesn't it? I can't believe how quickly that just went again. Mate, it's that spot, literally, you know, like I said, I was like, I need it on the left of that bush. Uh huh. Because that was exactly where I had it, when I got the other bike. Don't tell me where you had it, or I saw. <laughs> Any good? I don't know. Looks about the same. Back of the net, baby. Two in the net, man. Quick succession. Wow. Wow, wow, we were. Wow, wow, we were. Yeah, it's about the same. Nice one, though, isn't it? I met. Marsh. Gitty. Two in quick succession. This one, £17.12. Lovely uh, mirror, linear mirror. Beauty, mate. Going through the middle. It's a banger, isn't it? Absolute banger. Same rig, same spot. Like we say, two in quick succession, and yeah, we've chucked a few more spoms out there. I'm gonna get that rod back out, and it could do another bite. And I'm gonna give Wayne the next one. I don't care what he says. Are uh, you gonna give it to me? Yeah, he's got a man. I can't. I can't just be cleaning up on a spot, even if it is a big one. Whatever. We've got a few days. You know, I'm about to nick your PB now. Right? Probably, but <laughs> we're, at oh. we're at another venue. We're at another <laughs> venue tomorrow. You have to wait and see what that is. But yeah. Buzzing with that, 17.12. Bosh. And away. Right, so seeing as we've had them two fish, just gonna show you exactly where we've had them, because we said if we caught, we would. So, zoom right in. Right, where's my finger? This bush here, literally to the left of it. 14 and a half wraps. And that is where we're doing the business. Hot 
dogs. Get your hot dogs. It's hot dog time. We love a hot dog, don't we? You just can't beat hot dogs because they're just so easy. Uh, so watch, watch that. It's a squirter. It's a squirter. I love a good squirter. Amazing. <laughs> So these are our super big hot dogs, Dino's. Mm. That's really hot. Is it? There we go. Bash. The mustard, it's all about the mustard. Isn't oh, it? The mustard and the ketchup combo. It's the one. No onions this time because we didn't bring a sharp being, knife. Did we? Being lazy. I have got an onion with me, I just can't be bothered to Not share it with cut me. it up with a, blank, a bl blunt knife. Right, we're going to scrum these and then hopefully be back to you with a cart. Fingers crossed. He's ill apparently. I'm ill mate. He's got a bit of hay fever and he's... I'm ill. Oh, <laughs> it's starting to rain, it's starting to rain. Them. Oh no, I'm still out in the rain. Struggling. So what, what do we need to do tomorrow morning? What do you mean, what do we need to do? What do we need to do tomorrow morning? Ah. Tell, tell the folks. What? What am I telling the folks? What we need to do tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, oh. we need to get up, oh. pack up, get on the road, Yeah. get to Anglin Direct Why? in Lincoln, because I need some new waders. What happened to those ones? The, the, ones that you bought? the wellies inside are wet through. And they, they will not dry. You haven't used them for months. You no. turn up, put your foot in them. And they were sopping. So I'm just going to go get some new ones. We also need a pan. Because Wayne forgot his saver pan. So we need that to cook dinner tomorrow. I did. We might need some more pellet. Then we're going to go supermarket. Well. Yeah. Are we going to do that before? Before what? Before we drive down to where we're going next. Yeah. Or we'll do it on the way down. Same thing, isn't it? A six, six and two threes. Or do we do it in Lincoln, do we? Either way, we're going to get... We're going to go to a supermarket before we get to the next venue. Then we're going to go to the next venue. Yeah, you made that quite difficult. So, yeah. But at the minute, we're waiting for another bite. It's quarter to nine. I said the next bite's coming at nine, so we'll see. I said half ten, didn't I? We'll see who's right. I reckon it's coming off your middle rod. You reckon it's coming off? Far left. My left. It's I think one on the fun. channel. He's just, he's just entertaining, entertaining me. I'm not. He's just trying to make me feel I better. Think it's gonna. I think it's I gonna. Can't, I can't even breathe. <sighs> breathe through your mouth. That's really bad for you. Oh, stop it. That's really bad for you, won't he? Shh. Bye. See you in a bit. In a bit. That's it. Ten past nine and we're retiring to our beds. I think Wayne's going to go to sleep and I I'm going to watch a little bit of telly and then probably go to sleep. Up pretty early this morning. So, uh, yeah, six rods all for Wayne. So hopefully we can get into one during the night and then we'll be on the road to the next venue in the morning. So hopefully, see you in a little bit. What show? Who's in there? Pick what one, one up. One on the right. This goes over me. Where? Right over you. There you go. I told you to sit on them. I know, I was literally questioning my life yesterday. My life choices. Look at him out on his socks again. About the same size as your one, isn't it? What, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> no! You f***head. At least I saw it. I don't I know. know. It just popped. Barbless hooks, isn't it? No excuses. Oh, oh well. At least I got to play a fish at the one Disney. <laughs> you got to buy, you got to play a fish. Just didn't get to land it. Oh, well. Oh! 
annoying. Here we go. All ready to go. Then you get packed up and then we'll be away. Marsh. Bye, my lover. Bye, my friend. You have been. The, you haven't been the one for me. You should you were the one for Foxy? Lost the cart, mate. On the mid dubs. On the mid dubs. The end dubs. This road needs some work. It does, doesn't it? Right, where are we off to now? We're gonna go. Mackie D's Brecky. Mackie D's Brecky. Supermarket. A Asda. We found an Asda. Asda and Anglin Direct. Anglin Direct. And then we are off to venue number two. Yeah, boy. The poor. First stop of the morning completed, Mackie D's. How, was it, how you feeling? Yeah, good. Was it worth it for you? Um, with your two hush brows? I don't, know, I don't know, you know. I was. I enjoyed it after a while. I, I think I was over hungry. I started feeling a bit sick before you I did, got it. Like, as soon as you got it, you were like, oh. Yeah. Uh, right, next stop. Asda. Super Machete. Then, Anglin Direct. And then, on the way to the next venue. I can't wait. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we've just done the uh, the Anglin Direct Hall. I say Hall. And Asda. And Asda. This has taken a lot longer than we wanted. Let's yeah. Just put it that way. We're not doing good for time. It's, it's like 10 o'clock now. 5 to 10, and now we're just making our way to the second venue. Well, that was um, an expensive, expensive little jaunt now. We spent more like 65 quid in Asda uh -huh. on food and stuff. And then. Well, I've just dropped a hundred quid in AD. Yeah. You dropped twenty odd. So. Well, yeah, fifteen. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we've got an hour and twenty minutes uh, on the road now until the next uh, destination. But what, but, did, what did you think of Norton? I thought it was good. Um, you can see what the attraction is. Like, it was all right, wasn't all it? All the different lakes and that, like the pegs are decently set up, aren't they? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. And considering like. We weren't overly pleased with the pegs that we ended up with. Get three bites. Didn't do too bad, yeah. It's a shame I missed that one. Well, shame that one got off got for on. me at the end. And I was like reminiscing, I was contemplating what happened. On the way and, out. And I'm pretty sure that I was getting ready to, to pick the net up. I, I was debating in my mind whether to ask you to pick it up or whether I should pick it up myself. Yeah, because you just went to it. And, didn't you? Yeah, and I think I looked down at it and yeah took the probably pressure off the took the pressure off the off the fish and it popped so don't make those mistakes one of them as well with um barbless hooks like it's, it's more of a possibility as soon isn't as it? you do that yeah it can get hot but off. the next venue is micro. only micro bob so hopefully that won't happen again um but yeah, listen, all in all, I'm, listen, I'm gutted I didn't, you know, land that fish, of course, you know, come away from Norton with a blank, but it is what it is. Well, I said it's not a blank, because you got the bite, you just didn't manage to land it, unfortunately. You just got to land it though, haven't you? Yeah. Um, but listen, onwards and upwards. That's UK Blanks Venue 1. Ticked. ticked. So we are now on the way to UK Blanks Venue 2. And uh, yeah, you'll have to tune in to the next episode next Sunday to find out where we're going, uh, what we're doing. So uh, yeah, it's a good one. The next one's a 48 hour, and then the last we're one hoping, 24 hours. Yeah, we're hoping for a big haul. Aren't we? We're hoping for a good one here. So, so we'll hopefully that fish I've lost will get made up for yeah, at this venue. Yeah. So yeah, we will see you at the next one. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button. Click the subscribe button if you don't already. As we said at the start of the video, there's like 70% of people who aren't subscribed. So uh, get subscribed. And uh, we're trying to hit that 10K and it will, it will help yeah. out massively. Who are you? Let's be having you. Let's be having you. So uh, yeah, also click the alarm bell to get notifications when we post any new content. And we'll see you at venue two. <laughs>